Hey Arthur, and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. Now, uh, if you watched previous episodes, you'll probably know that uh, January is Japan month. And I got a request from Diggy Masters to do Ibarachi Doji and Shuten Doji. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, they are two oni, or ogre, or demon-like creatures from Japanese mythology. And they're partners, so they're kind of like, um, they're kind of like two buddies who go around causing mischief. <laughs> And, um, they're pretty popular because they were featured in manga. However, they do have a root in Japanese mythology. Uh, some versions say that they're half human, half demon. Like, uh, some have wondered if the word Ibarachi means child as an offspring, so offspring of Oni. So, oh, anyway, they can also take the form of handsome young men which they use to lure women to their mountain lair, or so to be really lecherous. But uh, D Masters also made an interesting comment where he said that he heard a legend that they were originally human, but they were turned into Oni because of a curse. I haven't actually been able to find... I did some research. I wasn't able to find that particular story, but the stuff he sent me before is usually so, re so well-researched that I'm pretty sure that he must have found that somewhere, like a really obscure reference, so... I'm going to have to do a little bit more because I feel like these two need more backstory. I kind of imagine them sort of like uh, the pinky and the brain of Oni. So <laughs> without further ado, let's get into it. Now that we got the basic uh, skeletons, let's add some muscle. All right, now that we got just like the basic muscular anatomy, let's add some more details.
now let's shade it. Alright, now let's fill in some of the details that might have gotten lost during the shading. Just drawn Shoten Doji. And Ibarachi Doji. Alright, like, share, and subscribe. You guys remember that uh, this month is going to be all Japanese month. However, if you have any suggestions for creatures you want me to draw, Japanese or otherwise, I will be sure to get back to you. And uh, there's a link to my Patreon page in the description along with my email. And anybody who finished a lesson on the show and like to show off your artwork, you just send it to me at my email as long as you give me your permission. I'll show it off on the show with your name so everyone knows that you did it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and goodbye.